who've lost their lives in escalating violence over the last year. Palestinians and Israelis alike are experiencing uh, growing uh, insecurity, uh, growing fear uh, in, their, uh, in their homes, in their communities, in their places of worship. So in the first instance, uh, we believe it's important to take steps to de-escalate, uh, to um, stop uh, violence, uh, to um, reduce tensions, and uh, to try as well to create the foundation for more positive actions going forward. Those are the necessary first steps, but uh, they're also not sufficient. Uh, it's also important to continue to strive uh, not only for reducing violence, but ensuring that uh, Ultimately, uh, Israelis and Palestinians alike enjoy the same rights, uh, the same opportunities. Uh, what, we're, what we're seeing now for Palestinians is a shrinking horizon of hope, not an expanding one. And that too, we believe, needs to change. من الضروري أن نستمر في العمل لتأكد من تمتع الفلسطينيين والإسرائيليين بنفس الحقوق والفرص ولكن ما نراه اليوم أن الفلسطينيون يرون أفقا يصغر مع مر الوقت من الأمل I also appreciate Mr. President your consistent uh, and resolute stance against terrorism uh, for our part, we have been working to strengthen our own relationship with the, the Palestinian people and to uh, help to uh, improve their lives. Uh, we're doing it in tangible ways, including our support to UNRWA, uh, about $890 million uh, for everything from food uh, to vaccines, to support for, uh, for refugees, uh, education, etc. And today I can announce that we're going to be providing an additional $50 million to UNRWA. Uh, when President Biden visited in July, he also committed $100 million to the East Jerusalem Hospital Network. Uh, we reached an agreement as well to provide 4G communications uh, for Palestinians, and we're working to implement that. And the President also named Hadi Amr, who's with us today, as our first uh, representative for Palestinian affairs. And at the same time, we'll continue to work uh, to reopen our consulate in Jerusalem.
وفي نفس الوقت سوف نستمر بالعمل على إعادة فرح كنصلياتنا في القدس الشرقية.